Welcome back. There's a controversy brewing in the Indian contingent at the Tokyo Olympics. Shooter Manu Bhakar's Swiss gun manufacturer Morini and coach Ronak Pandit reignited the debate over her alleged gun malfunction that she faced during her Olympic 10-meter air pistol qualification. The repair work cost Manu Bhakar 17 minutes and she then had to complete the qualification round in 38 minutes as Olympic rules do not compensate for lost time in such a situation. According to Morini, if the Indian camp had brought the gun to them, they would have repaired it at a faster pace. But her coach, Ronak Pandit, in a video posted on Facebook, took exception to the gun manufacturer's comments. In the video, the coach, Ronak Pandit, shows why it was not a viable option as it would have cost them even more time since the repair station was far away. In addition, Pandit has said that Bhakar's heart rate wouldn't have been stable after walking so much to get the gun repaired from the station. These developments have come after India continued to fare poorly at the shooting events, failing to even clinch a single medal at the Tokyo 2020. The Morini guys started posting articles which were anti-Manu one day before her qualification competition. Do you think Manu really trusted them with her equipment when those guys are posting anti-Manu articles one day before her qualification competition? I don't think so. And they say they sh she should have used her spare pistol. But how could she use her spare pistol when she doesn't have the same grip on both pistols? Her previous coach had changed the grip on that pistol, which Manu didn't like. And she wanted that grip to be changed, but he did not change it. So Manu had two pistols, yes. But was her spare gun the same as her main gun? No. And that is why Manu decided to not use the spare gun and we had to change the part from the spare gun to the main gun guys we are experts and i am a coach we understand the shooter more than a technician or a businessman and we do whatever we do in the interest of the country and in the interest of the performance of the athlete so it's high time you trusted the right people and not fall prey to sensationalism of these people with vested interests. Meanwhile, it was Nari Shakti on display at the Tokyo Olympics. On day five, Indian women have put up a super show in individual events. Morning began with India's ace shuttler PV Sindhu qualifying for the round of 16 with another easy victory. Sindhu won her second successive match to top her group, defeating Hong Kong's Shwing Nong Yi in straight sets 21-9, 21-16. The number six seed won her match in 35 minutes. The 2016 Olympic silver medalist will now face Denmark's world number 12, Mia Blikfeld. Sindhu has a 4-1 head-to-head record against Blikfeld and she will be hoping she can overcome the Danish challenge next. In boxing, meanwhile, Pooja Rani was on the song in the ring. She was landing punches one after other on the Algerian Ishraq Chaib. In fact, twice in the bout, Rani's punches almost toppled her opponent at the end. Rani emerged victorious by a comfortable 5-0 margin. In archery as well, world number one Deepika Kumari is through to the round of 16 in the women's individual event. Deepika, who won 6-0 against Bhutan's Karma in the 1x32 elimination, had a difficult match in the second round. She was in fact trailing USA's Jennifer Mukino Fernandez 2-0 before winning the next two sets. But every Indian skipped a beat when Fernandez came back to level the match. However, as it turned out, Deepika Kumari kept her nerves in the closing moments to edge her opponent by a point in the fifth and final set. Yes, or right. Here's hoping that there will be many more medals to come in at the Tokyo Olympics for India. It's a wrap from me for today. You can always log on to indiatoday.in for all the latest or download the application on your phones. Coming up next, Gaurav Savant with a special telecast. Thank you for watching.